Hey y'all. This week uh, we are going to work on what I call a gondola shape. Uh, these are used for, you know, serving cheese and crackers, uh, an olive tray, relish tray. Uh, you know, it's open to anything, but the idea is these are intended to reference uh, kind of a canoe form or a, like a Venetian gondola. So these are hand built, um, although I have thrown these before, uh, but today we're going to focus on hand building. So this is the idea and let's get into it. All right. We are going to start with three pounds again. So let's wedge this up. We are going to make a long, thin slab. So we're going to throw this out on the table now. This is a little thicker. Roll that out a little. So now I'm going to put my strips down here. All right, now what we're going for is I want to make a slab that is three wide of these. So I'm going to hold the first one up to the edge right here. Cut that flush. Put our next one here. Take that first one. Set it over here. This up. This back. So I run out of clay right about here on this edge. So this is how long it's going to be. Stop right there. So we run out of clay under here, about right there. Cut that. So we've got a slab that is three wide of these, nice and even. Clean all this up. I'm going to give this just a little mist, polish the top. This will become the bottom. Now, move this to a board. So we know the bottom is smooth now. Just a little bit of water. Uh, 
that Turn this up this way. And from here, I'm going to stack one of these and one of these and make a mark right in the center. And the same thing down here. Find the center, make a mark there. All right, now from this corner and this corner, we're going to make kind of a, a curved line down to the center. Same thing here. Yeah. Cut one. Cut the other. I'll flip this. This way. Curve that way. So from here, uh, I'm going to let this dry for maybe 20 or 30 minutes. I might hit it with the hair dryer a little bit. This needs to stiffen up just a little bit from here. All right, this is about where we want it. It's, it should have some flex still, uh, but it's losing a little bit of its stick. So we're also making a stamp making video right now. Um, if you wanna go check that out, uh, this is one that I had carved. I'm gonna lay some texture down here in the middle. So we've got our texture laid down like this. Next thing I'm going to do is we're going to turn these edges up. All right. So I'm going to start out here. Now we're going to use a sponge. This is kind of a harsh cut. So we want to come back using that sponge that's been wrung out. Start to draw over this edge. Putting pressure on the, the two corners. You wanna soften this out. All right, so we've got these edges smoothed out, compressed. And rounded. Tuck these in together like this. Now, so you can use a hair dryer. I'm going to torch these edges just a little bit. So, again, we're going to let this rest for a little while. Um, I might come back with a hair dryer, spend just a couple of minutes, giving this a little bit more strength. So take a minute to do that. And we'll start up again. All right, so this has been dried a little bit further. It's got a lot more strength now. Um, our next step is we got some slurry and a rib like this. Up here and score this and score the inside of that. 
it doesn't have to be pretty. Get some juice here. We're going to take one, kind of fold it inside of the other, and let these curl up so it looks like the end of a canoe. I'm going to start low and start making that connection. And I really want this to hook in like that, so I'm going to fold it over a little bit more and we'll continue with that connection. I'm just working this seam together. Start high now. So this is thick right here and I'm wanting to pinch this over to thin it out. And as we do that, it creates a little bit more volume. All right, so we got this nice curve back here, a point right in the middle. We'll let that angle in a little bit. I'm going to leave this seam because I like that kind of thing. If that drives you nuts, smooth it out. I'll show you a different angle on the next one a little bit closer. All right, it's the same thing on this side. So this one's going to come in, fold over like this. Start low. And then fold these over as much as you need to get the curve and the angle that you want. So I'm making the connection on the inside, kind of working that across. We get up under here, start to lay this down. And again, where that clay is doubled up, we're kind of pushing to thin that out and that's giving us this volume here. So we got that nice curl going on in here. So I would suggest at this point that you cover this thing with plastic and next step we will pick up tomorrow. So this has had some time to dry. Uh, it's got barely a, a little bit of flex to it, uh, but this is ready to, to finish up. So I'm going to add some embellishments here to exaggerate this point. Uh, because I don't want any little clay boogies falling down into this texture, I'm actually going to wet it before I score it. That seems to prevent that. Just let it kind of spill over. So we'll come all the way down to here. Just kind of roll up the back in here over that. get a piece of clay. Actually, I'll get two right now just to ensure that I'm making them the same size. Too big. All right, I like that. I'm going to start to form this one. This comes to such a nice swoop and a peak right here that I want to exaggerate that. And this is starting to take shape. Um, it makes me think of like an antique canoe or a Viking ship, something like that. So I'm going to play that up a little bit. And 
knees should just come to a little tail there. Get some slurmy. Start right on this peak, work it down over that. I'll take one side and bend it back. I'll follow this arc. back echo down this edge let that clay kind of spill over both sides fade to nothing I'm going to let that one just sit for a minute. I'll flip this and do the other one. Then we'll come back and clean it up a little. So we can see here some of this kind of squidginess. I'm going to come back in and articulate this a bit. This is also serving to kind of compress that joint. So I do want a line here, but I want it to fade out. So it kind of starts at nothing, comes up comes real deep here and then fades to nothing. And then that's difficult to, uh, to get in there. So I'm just going to use a brush. Do the other side. This one's a little uglier. All right, and for the final step, I want to put a little bit of movement along this edge. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to coax this one up a little bit. And then in between that and this, kind of let it swell out a little bit. And we'll do the same over here, kind of lean in. I don't want to make it too matchy-matchy, but I may, may lean up a little here. Let this open up. Do a little in between these. And there is the finished product. So feel free to to emulate that, to make it wider, shorter, longer, you know, any variation of that. And uh, let us know if you guys have any questions and we look forward to seeing what you make.